Greetings from Jerusalem to the Silicon Valley Crowdfunding Summit. I want to first of all congratulate our friends at Crowdfund Beat. You've done a spectacular job putting this conference together. I'm very sorry that I'm here speaking to you from Jerusalem. You can see in the back the old city, the ancient city of Jerusalem, which is thousands of years old. But I have to be here and I can't be with you. But I want to send you the greetings to Silicon Valley from the world's other Silicon Valley, which is Israel. As you know, when you look at the world of innovation today, there really are two sites that stand out in terms of the density of startup activity, and that is both Silicon Valley and Israel. And it's now true also in the crowdfunding area. Uh, obviously, Silicon Valley and what's going on today at that wonderful summit you guys are attending is the center, the apex, the nexus of the crowdfunding world. But we are delighted to have been named uh, uh, by Crowdfund Beat as the Crowdfund Person of the Year. I'm, I'm very, very proud of that uh, honor. And we're really having a very, very good time here with our crowd based in Jerusalem. Uh, our crowd is a crowdfunding site for accredited investors. We now have 7,000 accredited investors worldwide. We've invested over $100 million in close to 60 companies. And we're proud that, that essentially crowdfunding is fulfilling its promise to not just be more funding for Silicon Valley or for people who are insiders, but we're actually democratizing the whole process of innovation finance, allowing great entrepreneurs all over the world to get access to this capital. And the fact that we're here in Israel and have investors from 90 different countries, they literally come from all over the world, that is what crowdfunding is about, is basically bringing people together in an increasingly flat world so that no matter where you are, no matter where your idea is coming from, you can get access to the capital you need. And it's going to work not only for different regions in the U.S., whether it's Cleveland or Arizona or Florida, who are all of a sudden going to be on the startup map, but it's going to also work for other countries of the world. We've deployed our first money into companies from New Zealand and Australia. We're getting ready to do a deal in Brazil, we're doing deals in Europe, we're going to be looking for deals in Africa, and we think that this is really a global crowdfunding world. Um, we also are excited about the potential of accredited uh, crowdfunding. Everybody has been waiting for Title III. We hope it comes. We hope it really opens up the market. But in the meantime, we're having a great time with Title II, with the accredited investor opportunity. Remember, there are 10 million accredited investors in the U.S. alone maybe tens of millions outside of the U.S. And working on this important market, I think, is a critical first step for the crowdfunding industry. That's where we're focused. And we're actually focused on raising fairly large sums of money for our companies. We started off by raising a couple hundred thousand dollars per deal. We're now at two, three, four million dollars a deal. Actually, uh, last week we closed a round where we led a $16 million round of finance, where we put in over $6 million ourself as the crowdfunding lead of an investment where there were $10 million of additional venture funding that followed us. This is the future. Is crowdfunding being part of the ecosystem together with corporations and together with other venture funds where the individual investor is now able to get into the very best deals that are available where he gets the same terms and the same treatment as the big boys, whether they're venture capital or corporate investors, you know, get to. This deal, by the way, was for Borrow, an online lending site which is uh, headquartered in New York. We're putting up next week a new deal for ourselves, another American deal, which is a $5 million deal. Details on our crowd. And we're seeing more and more deals where we're doing million, two million, three million dollar uh, sums of money. We've actually done 30 of them so far. We're I would say the thing we're working on now at our crowd is we are focused on unlocking the power of the crowd, not just as a source of new funding for these companies, but as a source of actually essentially selecting companies in a new way, getting the crowd involved in deal selection and deal sourcing, and then in crowd building, is getting the crowd 
active in terms of helping these companies move forward in a different way. And I think if crowdfunding is going to ultimately succeed, it's not going to be just because we've provided access to great deals and bringing new funds into this innovation finance market, but by using the power of the crowd to do better selection and better building of the companies once we invest, so that this is not just about making a great investment for the individual, but about helping the whole innovation finance area move forward in a dramatic and dynamic way. Again, I want to thank the uh, folks at uh, Crowdfund Beat for having given us the award of uh, crowdfunding uh, of the year. I wish I could be there. My partner Audrey Jacobs is and she fills my shoes, more than fills my shoes. And I, I miss you Audrey. Uh, regards to other friends like Doug Elinoff and Tim Draper and again to all of you who are participating and I think which is the most important gathering of the crowdfunding industry. Regards from Jerusalem.